welcome to a very simple tutorial on retouching images so what we're basically gonna be doing is uh, we just bought this picture off the internet basically so it's a picture of a mature woman so basically a portrait image but the same techniques of retouching can basically be used in any other types of images so we're gonna be getting rid of some uh, wrinkles here on her face around her eyes maybe parts of the nose so yeah let's get started so first we're gonna be duplicating the layer so just to be sure that we don't make any changes that we don't want and then first we're gonna be grabbing the uh, let's see the healing brush tool so set the brush to about 40 pixels or so, make sure the hardness is at zero, this is very important. And then just zoom in into the area. Uh, first we have to sample parts of the image, so uh, hold ALT and click. And then just lightly start brushing over the wrinkle. See how it's disappearing? See, look, go back, yeah, there we go. And then we basically just continue this process over and over. So just zoom out every now and then just to be sure that we are getting some sort of a realistic result and not something that's unnatural. That's very important. So and also be sure to play around with the brush size maybe something like this here maybe go a bit bigger so yeah it's a it's a it's a very simple process anyone can do it you don't require a it isn't uh, required to have a vacuum tablet or anything like that so yeah so this is the region that we just fixed now so if we look at how the image looked before you can see it's quite a drastic change but we still managed to keep the the grain in the actual skin and the details so it doesn't look unnatural and this is this is a very important step so let's just keep going same for this part under the chin and then this is pretty much fine maybe just some small retouching here and maybe a bit more here yeah so I guess that's looking pretty good so what we need to focus on next are uh, these tiny wrinkles here around the eyes so for that we're gonna be using the the clone stamp tool uh, set the brush to be just just a bit bigger than the than the actual wrinkles so in my case about nah, even less let's say 15 pixels or so uh, make sure the mode is set to lighten uh, opacity can be 100 and flow to 60% so let's just duplicate this layer first and then zoom in yeah then let's just try first sample of course again yeah see how the wrinkles are slowly getting lighter disappearing so we're not really brushing them out we're just making them less visible if that makes sense so we're still getting a natural look you know uh, we don't want the person's face to be looking like plastic at the end so uh, yeah let's just continue maybe a tiny bit around uh, around the eyelids here and maybe a bit more here and yeah 
That should be it. Let's zoom out. See what we did. Yeah, see, no, that that's quite a drastic change. We got rid of all the tiny wrinkles here. There are still some left on the nose, so let's go in and fix those now. Oops, we maybe went a bit too light. So just redo it. And make sure to always uh, always keep resampling, you know, that's very important. So let's move on to the other side of the face, to the other eye. So same process, nothing's changed. And just basically keep dragging your mouse over the wrinkles. Now don't try to erase them, uh, erase them all together because that normally produces really uh, unnatural results. Just just lighten lighten them up a bit. Okay. Let's see maybe sample parts here. Okay. Yeah, and then maybe we go in here a bit. this part up a tiny bit and a bit more here I think yeah, let's zoom out see what we did so yeah compared to before yeah you can really see it's a it's a it's a huge difference so yeah that's it for this uh, mini tutorial uh, I find this technique to be really useful on all sorts of images, whether it be like family portraits, professional uh, modeling pictures, or basically.